If you want to check out different content from myself, I've just set up a second channel where I'm going to post fitness and things. The link for that will be in the description. And of course, if you want to avoid the random lottery of FIFA points, you want to go straight to the source, buy the players directly, use u7buy.com and use the code TVM at checkout. What is going on guys, Tim here. Welcome back to another one of these type of videos where we look back at FIFA 16 and we pick out my favourite and most memorable defenders. When I say favourite, they don't necessarily mean that they're good and it wasn't necessarily that I enjoyed them. I know it sounds a bit weird, but it's ones that I can remember using as if it was almost yesterday. Now, a few of the clips are really bad quality because it wouldn't allow me to download them in HD for some reason. Up first is going to be Team of the Season, Chris Smalling. If you look at these, these cards, you can see how far we've come with, uh, with FIFA in terms of the ratings because this was one of the highest rated cards that we had. And he was one of the best, uh, 88 rated. Now, if you look at the cards this season, you'd be hard pressed to find a team of the season card in a top five league that wasn't 90 plus. You do get the odd 88 and they tend to be the two or lower ones. So, for example, the Italian league has got Pellegrini and uh, Berardi, I think, that are both 88. Everyone else is like 90 plus rated. Chris Smalling was one of the higher rated Premier League ones that year. He was really good as well. I think everyone remembers him. This is, I think, the year that he um, got the name Small Dini. Up next is going to be Team of the Season, Al Sharani. Now, in FIFA 15, he had a better 84 rated card. But this is the one that I remember using the most. Now, unfortunately, the quality of these clips, not very good at all. However... You're going to get to see exactly why I liked him. Not the easiest of players to fit into a team. Bearing in mind at this point there were like, what, four icons that you could get? No, there were a bit more than that, maybe 40. But they were almost unobtainable. You know, FIFA 16 was the year after price ranges came in. It was a little bit dead because the draft was the only mode that came in. Not many people liked it when it first came in. The novelty wore off after the first month. So... Yeah, you have to bear in mind that it, just, it was even harder to link him into a team than it would be today, for example. But I really enjoyed that card. Moving on to what I believe was a most consistent team of the season. Now, the, little, the difference in the last couple of seasons with FIFA and most consistent team of the seasons has been that they're no longer lower rated. So, for example, Juan Fran, I believe, was most consistent. I'm just making this up. I, th I think I remember it being most consistent. But they only made him 86 rated because he was most consistent. If he was in the actual La Liga team of the season, he would have been 88, 89, 90 rated. But because he's most consistent, they didn't boost him high enough. In more recent FIFAs, this year in particular, they've sort of thrown that out the window. And you still get these sort of low to mid 90 rated cards. He was really good at running up the wing. And in fact, in this FIFA in general, running up the wing was a, a a thing that you would do to break defences and it would work quite well. Cerner was really good at that. Now, unfortunately, I don't have any clips of Cerner. I don't know why I didn't have any... I couldn't find the footage. I think I, maybe I made a dedicated video about him, but I didn't put it in a playlist and therefore I can't find it. But this card was unreal. He reminds me of another player that is going to be in this list coming up very soon. Uh, before we get there, though, Jonathan Tarr, another player that I think has got really bad quality in terms of like video quality. But Jonathan Tarr has been one of those players that's been around for years. He's still not that old, uh, but he's been around for years. And he's been a very good player in FIFA for years as well. Now, for some reason, he wasn't that expensive in FIFA 16, but he was an absolute man mountain. So strong. And the art of slide tackling has gone out of FIFA somewhat. Uh, you don't really slide tackle that much anymore unless you are absolutely desperate or you've, you're have you fed up and you just want to commit a foul. Uh, back in FIFA 16 and 17 and beyond that, uh, used to slide tackle a lot and, and that was a, a very effective way of, of winning the ball back. But in, in more recent FIFAs, the art has just died. Jonathan Tower is very good. This is a token um, player. He got a team of the season card. It was the year that Leicester won the league, of course. And they had a full um, hero squad put into the game. Unlike, you know, when Man City won the league. They didn't do that for them. Liverpool won the league. Nah, didn't do it for them. Why? Because they've got enough high-rated cards. I, I kind of get it, but at the same time, not really. Um, <laughs> with this card, why is he in the list? Is he actually good? No. He was pretty awful, to be fair. He didn't have pace. 
He was clumsy. His timing of slide tackles was awful. Uh, he got sent off a few times. Uh, yeah, he just wasn't that great. But I remember doing the review. I remember using him. And I remember thinking, every time he did something of note, I remember thinking, oh, thank God he can do something. Rudiger, back in the Roma days, this was one of those really overpowered, cheap and cheerful, low-rated cards that, for example, um, Ryan Kent, you know, in this FIFA, 84 rated, but you could still use him now. I know he's now 87 rated, but you know what I mean? You could still use him now. He's one of those just for some reason overpowered, and that's exactly what Rudiger was. Uh, he was a, a very good centre-back that knew how to score goals from corners. Now, of course, back in the day, corners were a thing, unfortunately... Um, these days, you can't. It's not like that easy to score from corners. But still, uh, he scored his, the odd penalty for me as well. Lyon, one of the most expensive defenders in FIFA 16, with good reason. He has five-star weak foot. Okay, only the three-star skills, but a high, high work rate and an unbelievably good long shot on him. To the point where that's all I tried to do with Lyon when I was reviewing him was hit the ball from distance and see if we could score ourselves a long-range effort. I kind of treated him as if he was uh, John Arnorisa, to be honest. But every single time I had the ball in that area, I'd let fly. Now, of course, this was the FIFA that you could score a lot of long-range efforts with and you'll see that when we get to the forwards in a couple of days and some of the midfielders as well maybe some of the goals we've conceded uh you can you can kind of tell but yeah you could score some really good long range bangers now unfortunately like i said the quality of the clips not great because it wouldn't let me download it in hd i don't know what's going on um i think it's because some of the videos are really old and maybe the encoding is different i don't know the the ins and outs of it but either way what a player to end things off Probably one of my favourite defenders. He was one of the most expensive. The other reason why he was one of the most expensive is because this was toward the back end of FIFA 16. They were international man of the match cards, of course. So uh, we had... Um, I can't remember what, what the tournament was. Was it the Euros? I, I'm not... But then he's placed for Brazil. So maybe they were... Maybe it was a, a, a tournament going on for them as well. I'm not sure. Either way, Mycon was unreal he was so strong so fast uh, very very good at dribbling and as you know and as i've said previously full backs in fifa 16 were very influential you could run the whole length of the pitch with them quite easily i really did enjoy that mic on card lion and al shirani were probably my favorite cards like defender wise of fifa 16 but mic on was pretty damn close he was a very very good player so shame he came out as late as he did but um yeah, what a card. Uh, tomorrow, we'll tackle the midfielders. If you do, do go on to enjoy, or have gone on to enjoy this video, I should say, do me a favor and hit the like button. It really does help me a lot. Let me know if you can think of a single defender that you used to use in FIFA 16 that was amazing and that you wish you could sort of bring into the future for maybe FIFA 21. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here, of course, and until the next time, goodbye. Football Index. The game changed. Download the app now.